so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great and today's video i'm going to talk about how you can add the cloth on top of the table with the help of the cloth simulation so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial so right now on my screen here you can see guys i have a one table model and the first one i'm just going to my uh, top view and here i'm just going to add one plane here pressing the shift a then i'm just going to scale this plane something like that and something like that as well that's look nice by the way and after doing the scale make sure you apply the scale every time make sure whenever you are using physics simulation so it's required to apply this scale because it's gonna help you a lot whenever you are doing a scale your object make sure you apply the scale first of all after scaling the object i'm just gonna edit mode of this plane pressing the tab then i'm just gonna right click and do subdivide so i'm just gonna subdivide at least 30 time right now okay yeah, something like that i think that much subdivision will look nice to me and on my screen here you can see i have already uh, created one cloth uh, texture basically so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna apply this whole texture into this plane basically so so first one i'm just gonna select my plane here then i will just select this uh, uv sphere then i will just press the ctrl l and i will just do link as a material so here you can see it's gonna perfectly wrap this whole texture into this plane as well and this is look nice by the way now i'm just gonna move this plane a little bit upside something like that i think that much distance is look nice to me yeah and after that i'm just gonna make in top view and we can see from the top view that look nice to me now um, what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna select my table first of all and uh, i will just add one collusion into this table here okay and i will just add one collusion yeah that's look nice and after adding the collusion i will select my plane and then i'm just going to add the cloud simulation into this plane so right now here you can see we have a lots of settings and you don't need to do these settings basically you have to just select this preloaded preset from here i will just use as a cotton i think that look nice and i'm just going to scroll it down and i will just go to my collusion section and here i'm just going to increase the quality step to three and we will also enable the self collusion that's it guys you, apart from that you don't need to uh, do anything else okay you have to just press the space bar and here you can see guys it will perfectly add the cloth on top of this table and which is look nice by the way here you can see guys that's look great and if you want the that cloth should be bigger than this table so what do you have to do you have to just scale this uh, cloth little bit more i'm just going to press the s and going to scale it and make sure whenever you do scale make sure you apply the scale first of all then you can again press the uh, space bar and now here you can see we have a perfect cloth here and which is look nice by the way now what i'm going to do i'm just going to do right click and i will just do shade smooth and here you can see we have a good uh, smooth edges here and if you want more smoothness so then what you can do you have to just go to your uh, modify section and from here you can just add the subdivision surface modifier and here you can see guys we have a perfect and smooth surface here and which is look nice and i'm just gonna again my material preview and here you can see we have a perfect texture as well and we have successfully add the cloth on top of this table and which is look nice by the way so that's how you can add the any kind of cloth any kind of fabric on top of your model top of your table you can add the any kind of things it can be anything it can be chair it can be table it can be anything okay so it depends on your creativity that is the basic fundamental uh, which is i have shown here and i hope you understand this video so that's it for this tutorial guys so thanks for watching this video if you learn something in this video please hit the like button the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys